We're going to go around the horn with this one. This is another one that is uh, kind of dividing here in Boston. It's been dominating the media. And why not jump on the train? Um, Rajon Rondo, two titles. I think how many all-star appearances? Three or four. All-defensive player. Became a journeyman in the last couple of years. Own caused quite a bit of ruckuses in locker rooms. Sean David. Rajon Rondo. Hall of Fame? Oh, that's a very difficult question. Um, my, my honest truth, oof, there are a couple of guys in the Hall of Fame that haven't accomplished what Rondo has accomplished. But on the other hand, there are also guys who have accomplished a lot more and are not in the Hall of Fame. Uh, me being a basketball historian and a basketball fan, I sometimes have a hard time to really understand what the criteria is because it's sometimes, oh, no. sometimes, yeah, sometimes like that, sometimes like that. Um, He's a great player, and he has accomplished a lot. So, obviously, I'm always for the player. So, I wish that he gets to the Hall of Fame because it's a great accomplishment. Will he make it? I, I don't know. The future will tell. This must be Fox News. You ducked that question quick. Max, Hall there you of go. Fame, Raza, and Rondo? If he wins another championship, I think Rondo will be in the Hall of Fame. And you talk about journeymen and, and going back and forth. You start out like a supernova when you think about Rondo and then kind of flamed out and then go to different teams and goes back to win another championship. Isn't that intestinal fortitude when you think about it that way? You think about Chauncey Billups. Chauncey Billups to me is a Hall of Famer. Oh, Chauncey yes, Billups absolutely. Went back. How many different teams before he finally lashed on and became Mr. Big Shot with Detroit? Uh, so I, I think it, I, I, there's a lot of nitpicking which goes on, but you can't take away the fact that he's a uh, two-time champion. You can't you can't take away the fact that he's been an all star. So, but you can, but you also have to add in the fact that there's a lot of things in his career has been very disruptive. So, I, I don't know how writers would. And you think about it, even with with writers, Rondo for the longest time has been one of the most combative interviews that you think about. And if writers have anything to do with it, or evasive, are are, are they going to be the people that put him put him in? Now all of a sudden Rondo has embraced, you know, the, the writers. So it's a it's Rondo is Rondo Rondo, and I've said this many times. I love this. Rondo is the the the, the smartest dumb guy that I've or or the or the dumbest <laughs> smart guy that I've ever been around because he knows how to manip manipulate things and he is just that kind of person. And personally, as a friend, I love him. But I will be the first one to walk up to him and I will say, dude, you're full of shit. That's what I would say to him over and over again. And he would just bust my hump and we'll go back and forth. I'm sure that might happen on your podcast, Cedric Maxwell <laughs> podcast. Max, last question. I keep saying that, but I got two guys who know they talk my language here. Or maybe I speak yours. I don't know. Is he getting his number retired for retired? And if so, where? Rondo. Ooh. That's a good one. That's a good one. I feel... I I, th I feel even if he would win another championship with the Lakers, I still feel his jersey should be retired with the Celtics, because wow. to me, because yeah, because because yeah, because to me he's a Celtic, even though he's wearing the, the Lakers jersey. Um, the Rondo that played for the Celtics was a better player in my opinion, and 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 um, he had a more important role. That's just what I feel. And the Celtics retire the fans' numbers. I mean, they retire everybody. Ah, oh, you guys got me in the middle of that as a person yeah, who had, I it, who right had his that. jersey retired. I, I don't, I don't see it in that way. I, I think you start either. thinking about how long he's been around, his contributions. Uh, is he uh, still going to be a fan favorite? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But I think that's. But until you retire Ray Allen's number, I agree. Yeah. You know, you're telling me by anybody else's number that's going to be retired other than True. Kevin and Paul's. Because Ray Allen is a guy who has been was an all star, who was a guy you wouldn't have won that championship without. And you think about the first championship you played with, you know, when you think about Rondo during the decisive game, which was I want to say Game Five in L.A. It wasn't Rondo. No, it was Eddie House. He wasn't yeah. in, even the game. Was no Eddie Sam House Cassell. Who, Sam Cassell. Who, who were in the game? So I, I just don't. I I just wouldn't think that that would happen uh you know i i'm a rah-rah guy i love it but again you tell me is you tell me the contributions tell me what he's done 
Yeah, I, I got to be honest. For me, I've never been a Rondo guy, though. I'm happy for him now. As far as the Celtics go, if he had been able to help them rebuild with Brad Stevens and not be disruptive and get shipped away and then have all that turmoil, maybe. But truthfully, I'm joking. Celtics retire everybody's numbers. This current current ownership group do not. Max, you are the last, right? And then Paul Pierce. So Red retired everybody, but the current ownership group does not. Well, I think that when you look at Celtic jerseys, which were retired, and, and and Steve Buckley has made a, uh, I love how he tells me, he'll right. tell me in a heartbeat, he said, and he's a writer uh, here in Boston, he says, well, I think the Celtics, I don't think the Celtics <laughs> should be retired. And I, I look at him, I said, well, you know, everybody has their opinion. Uh, <laughs> but I'll, I'll just, let me give you my facts. Uh, the reason why, you know, they retired. First of all, I, you know, I'm a two-time champion. I was a finals MVP. I led the league in field goal percentage twice. I carried this team on my freaking back for the seventh game for the Lakers in 1984 to win another championship. So it isn't, it, it, it goes with merit. It goes, there, there are merits which are there. Cedric, let me ask you about this. What this championship means to you and the Celtics. Oh, it's great. It's great. And I think we play with our hearts. I'd like to say hello to my mom, to all my frat brothers, all the makers out there in the world. I win number one, baby. Yeah. You give me those same merits when I start thinking about where Rondo is. Is he, is he a great friend of mine? Yes. But is he, a, at the end of the day, is he somebody that's going to retire his jersey with the Celtics? There's a lot of things that would have to happen for me to see that. All right, he's Cedric Maxwell. He just told you all his credentials, not that he had to. And and, and below is Sean David, YouTube channel, Basketball Time Machine. I'm Nick Gelso, and we're out of here.